going on? All right, here I am over on Facebook and Instagram both. All right, come on in and join me. Let's get it going. How's everybody doing? No bowl tonight. All right, we'll hit the bowl anyway. <laughs> All right, what's that? I'm here at Jackie's house. I'm in New York. I've been like walking around the city, reflecting about my life. Oh my gosh, what a great time to do it. Really a great, awesome time. So I think I'm good. I've got it shared out. So let's just begin. <sighs> Welcome, everyone. Welcome. Terry Ann Hyman here. This is my live video broadcast for my Empowered Spirit show where we come on, we talk about the energy focus for the week, we look at the cosmos, and we pick some cards. So I'm in New York City. I'm with my friend Jackie. There she is. Say hi, Jackie. Hi. Jackie is... I have to pop it on this way for Instagram. Here we go. Yeah, there's Jackie. So we just had an awesome dinner. Jackie is great. She's a mindset coach, works with, works, works with tapping. She's been on my podcast. Check it out. So Jackie, thank you for hosting me here at your my home pleasure. tonight. Your here. Yeah, so, so much is going on in the cosmos. We're going to talk about it, what's ahead for this week. Some good cards came forward for all of us to think about. So the main thing right now is that we are in this dark of the moon energy, all right? So the day is short. It's getting colder. The moon is dark. So all of that energy starts to pull us in. It starts to pull us down. And really, if you're not careful, you can feel a little bit of that depressed energy or maybe you look at it as the shadow side of yourself. But really, it's okay to go in it. It's really just kind of okay to ask yourself because as you do, that's what we kind of call shining the light on it. It helps the energy to dissipate. So we have the dark and the moon tonight and tomorrow. The new moon comes in on Tuesday. So really also to think about too, especially if you're preparing for the holidays and you have family, Sometimes that energy can be a little bit of, you know, it makes you feel a little awkward sometimes. Or maybe you're like dreading it or maybe looking forward to it or maybe you have a lot of expectations on it. So some of that dark of the energy is going to come up for that as well. All right, so as you go through the next couple of days, just know that it's a time to reflect and look upon it and understand more about yourself because it does pull you in. But by the time we get to Wednesday, that uh, Tuesday, that new moon energy in Sagittarius is going to come forward. You'll, you'll feel the shift of energy. You'll see it around you. And then it's perfect timing for going into the holiday. So the dark of the moon into that Sag energy will definitely raise your energy up. All right, with that Sagittarius energy, that's like the explore, the adventure, the like let's take a journey. And it really does like to get out and expand. So that's going to also help you to open up your energy and expand, whether it's with family, friends, whatever the holiday may be for you as we come into it. But it is offering you the opportunity to really kind of take the time, reflect on what's been going on. This is really kind of the last lunar cycle of the year. Yes, we'll come into another new moon, but the full moon won't be until 2020 in January. So this really is that last lunar cycle until we move into that new year. So it is a good time to kind of look at your life. And on the new moon, we always talk about manifesting, setting your intentions. So even... Maybe going a little bit into the future energy with what's going on for you and setting some of those intentions for 2020. Not that you have to act on it. Not that you have to like go crazy and figure it all out, but maybe plant some seeds for yourself. We're going to see a lot of that expansive energy come forward with the Jupiter and Venus energy. That's also a little bit about relationships. So really a good time to reflect on that and gratitude. Gratitude for just being all those different kind of relationships, people in your life, things that, you know, come forward for you relationships and people that help you. Really important time too as you move through the rest of the week and pull that Sagittarius energy forward for you. In Vedic astrology, they're talking about the cosmos right now. They're talking about like all the cosmic forces kind of coming together into what they call the tail of the snake. And it's preparing for the eclipse season because that's really what we'll be talking about as we move into uh, the end of December and January. We're going to start into some of those eclipses, especially coming right into that new moon, that new year. I mean, so as we say with eclipses, anything can happen. It's going to stir up, especially the 2020, all right? We've been talking about this all year, 2019 being the year that you're making those changes and setting some new groundwork and bridging that whole new energy that will come in for 2020. A lot of transformation, especially as we start the year with that cosmic forces of eclipse. So right now, even though we don't see it, there's a lot going on behind the scenes, a lot of that cosmic pull going on. So really for you to reflect on your life, go through it, what can you let go? Think about it in terms of what do we do outside? What do we do in the fall? Like the leaves are falling, the train changes are coming. 
We scoop them up, we burn them, we let them go, we clear it away. And so that's a good opportunity for you to reflect on yourself as well with your own energy and then start to prepare because winter comes in and winter's a great time for all that dreaming and manifesting for that new year ahead. All right, so as you go out for the holiday week, Take some time to reflect on what's going on. And if you have a little bit of that social anxiety about family or friends or getting together, just really kind of breathe through it and just really understand that this is some of that dark energy of the moon that comes in with the darkness. And again, everything is pulling us in right now. And then as we come to Tuesday, get that new moon. It's kind of like a relief. And again, Sagittarius is fun and adventurous. It's kind of the gypsy of the zodiac too. You can look at it that way offering you the opportunity to expand your horizons, to have some of that playful energy. It's also a secret knowledge too. So pick up a good book, do some reading, like expand where you are, go deep. You don't necessarily have to go all the way out there, but we can go deep into what we're doing, especially in this, this transition from the fall to the winter because that energy is pulling us in. We like to work with the cosmos, all right? And then you'll go be able to ride out through the rest of the week, the holiday with that Sag energy, a great time again, just really offering gratitude, especially as you come into the holidays. Gratitude for what you have. It lifts up your energy for all the food on your table, the family that you're with, even if it's, you know, large, small, it doesn't really matter, but just offer that gratitude. And I like to say at the element, uh, at the, this time of year, be grateful for the elements, the fire, the air, the earth, and the water, all these many things that come in to form everything that we do. And that in its simplistic form can help you really appreciate all the many things that you have in your life. So that is our forecast for this week. A great time to really move through the transitions, prepare as we start to come into this last lunar cycle of the year and knowing that eclipse season's coming in. The more we can ground our energy and bring it in and pull it in, you'll be able to really be able to kind of go with the flow of that eclipse. Because again, eclipse is just kind of like the wild card energy. All right. So let's just take a moment and pull that all in. Pull in your energy so that you can prepare for this week. For most of us, it might be a shorter week and then travel or whatever we have to do. But a lot of anxiety can come forward at the holiday time. So let's just take a moment, wherever you are, if you can, and just take a nice deep inhale and exhale away. I've been doing a lot of walking around today. Inhaling and exhaling. Calling in your spirit, feeling it coming right into the very center. Pulling your energy in. Take another deep inhale and feel that breath coming up the spine. And as you exhale, pull the energy in, pull it all the way back down, deep into the earth. Inhaling and exhaling, calling in your higher self, calling in your energy, feeling that spiritual body begin to align right on top of the physical body. Feel the energy coming together, shoulders and shoulders, hips and hips, feet and feet, pulling your energy in. Inhaling up the spine and exhaling all the way down deep into the earth. Let's just take this time to honor where we are right here in this very present moment. Right here as the holidays come in, that late fall energy. I like to work with the medicine wheel, symbolic of our lives as it turns and turns. We find this season of the fall in the direction of the west. The West is where the sun sets, where we look at our day. We offer the gratitude for all our many lessons, anchoring in the directions to the West, the North, the East, and the South, above you, below you, calling in right into your very center. And then just offering an intention for this season, for yourself, for your family, and embody that energy for you. How will you feel? With these intentions, will you feel the peace, the love, the abundance, and embody those feelings. And let that energy just permeate out through your aura. Feel that vibration. You want to hold this vibration. I didn't go of any judgment on the intention, but really embodying that vibration. Take a deep inhale. And as you hold that vibration, just offering gratitude. Gratitude for bringing this in. Gratitude for all those that you love, holding that vibration. Gratitude for all the many experiences going through right now. Offering gratitude as you embody this energy, holding that vibration for you. Take another deep inhale. 
and exhale. Just holding that vibration for yourself, bringing the awareness back, coming back, blinking the eyes open. Good. So as we look to the cards for this week, some interesting cards kind of matching the energy. The first one that comes up is the five of wands. So this is a card that kind of goes, oh, gosh, things fill up in the air. Oh, gosh, I don't know, lots going on, which is kind of typical as we start the holidays. But it also is a great reminder of asking you, like, where are you spending your energy? All right? Are you spending it efficiently? Or are you just kind of putting it all over the place? All right? A good thing to ask yourself. All right? I think that's a good thing as we go through this week and prepare for this last you know, month of the year and all. Where has your energy been? And what can you do to kind of feel more cohesiveness and feel that path coming in for you? All right? So that's a focus for all of us this week. Really does kind of model the dark of the moon energy and like all of that all of those things that are unseen coming forward in your life all at once, all right? So that's the card that we're all going to work with. So if you chose one, two, or three, that's what we'll look at now. So the first one is the mother of wands, all right? So still in the wands. Wands is that passion and desire and the work that you're doing through that embodiment of energy. So this is a card. I love this card, mother of wands. This is like somebody you don't want to mess with, all right? This is that energy of like protective and I know what I'm doing and I am really going to do what it takes to get my work out there. And it's a very, like, look how she's, like, around the eggs, right? Around that is a snake energy there. The mother is very protective. And then we have the reds and the oranges and the yellows. So that's that fire energy that the wands bring in. So in order to really figure out your focus, which is what this week is going to be about for you, especially the new moon energy, being protective of your passions and your desires. So don't let people talk you out of your work. Don't let people sway your opinion. Really hold strong and protect those ideas, especially if they're kind of new. All right, sometimes if we put our ideas out there too soon, people are so easy to talk you out of it. Oh, blah, blah, blah. you know, everybody's got something to say, right? So when we protect that energy, that's what this is about. So whatever it is you're working on, and again, it's the passions and desires, bring it in a little closer and really protect it so that you can transform with that energy. All right, if you drew card number two, we have the two of swords. All right, so this card is a little bit about having a decision to make, or really it can be seen sometimes as procrastination. All right. And again, what it's asking us to do in this card, this is like of the mental too. It's like, are you only looking at it in one way? Are you only looking at this, not making a decision or trying to make a decision in only the way that you want to look at it? So this is a card to remind you to open up the way you're looking at things, open up your mind and perspective. We see we have this, like what looks like an eclipse. So that's like reminding us, don't be blind to one side of the story. All right. And again, as you can, as you open up the energy, see how it's crossed. It's like, open it up so that you can, again, then make some sense of where you're putting your energy and what you're doing. But this is almost like a, a stalemate card, all right? And again, it's reminding us of being sure that you're looking at do, uh, two dualities, the duality of what you're trying to do. And generally when you're stagnant, New York! All right, you live a few blocks in the fire. There you go. Yay, I love it. A lot of energy, I'll tell you. It's been a few years since I've been here. A lot of energy, but it does. I do remember it. All right, so this is a card to help you get out of that stalemate energy. And then the third card, this is a beautiful card for all of us. This is the lover's card. All right, so this card really exemplifies the idea. This is why I take everything with your butts. <laughs> oh, no, no. This card really shows us how, see how they're flying side by side. And this is a lover's card. So this is like they each have their path, yet they're in harmony. And there's like a lot of radiant energy flying out. But hold your path. Hold what you're doing, being true to that energy that you have. And you can fly in that motion of harmony. And that's really what this card is about, right? Yes, it can generally mean lover with somebody else. But it can also mean your relationship to everything and how you can be strong in your path but still radiate that energy out for you and for everyone else. And this is a great card for the holiday season because we have lots of relationships, lots of people you see, lots of family you may not have seen all year, right? And so hold your path. But radiate the energy out and know that that love and that compassion is really going to open up for you as well and just spread that energy. All right? So really some good cards. As we start out, we feel that darkness of the moon. And this can affect this. Like, what am I doing? Where have I been? Why have I got my energy everywhere? And I know I'm doing a lot of this. As I reflect on my year, what's working, what's not. So this is a great card for right now. But know that you can move through that and organize it better. And especially this card, again, it's a card of it or an energy. Like, don't mess with me. Like, I'm protective. I know my work. Nobody's going to talk me out of it. 
sometimes we need maybe some guidance. But on the other hand, if you're really passionate and you have a purpose, stay strong, all right? Really stay strong. And that's what this card is about. This card is about any kind of decisions that you feel stagnant out at. Look at both sides of the coin, all right? Make sure you're looking and thinking in ways that can help you open up the energy. Again, the eclipse, that's kind of a pre-shadow because we are a forewarning. We're going to be having eclipse energy come in, and that will help open the energy as well. And then be in harmony. Like, have your path, but be in harmony and radiate. Look at all the colors. Radiate out that love for yourself and then for all those around you. All right, so that's how the week is going to unfold as we move through. And yes, it is a fun week. It can be hard. I know for me, losing my mother this year, but I made some different changes. I'm up in New York. I'm reflecting on how many years of my life. And so we make new memories. And so hopefully it won't be a difficult one, but one that you can fill with love and compassion and gratitude. That's always a big help. All right, so as I let the energy catch up, I have a great podcast that aired yesterday with Julie Ryan. Ask Julie Ryan. She is a medical intuitive and a psychic medium, really fun interview. And she has a new book out about the stages of death and very important work, really great. It was a really great interview. Be sure and check it out, Empowered Spirit Show, dropped yesterday. Find it on my website, terryannhyman.com, and my feeds are in my bio link. And then so much is going on. I have some great activities in December, Reiki 2 coming up. At practice works and then a great great amount of stuff 12 12 full moon um meditation at beacon yoga fun time over there with those ladies with bailey and dawn great time and then some inter um, events at birmingham yoga as well so check the website come join us get out join in these ceremonies join in these rituals they will make you feel the depth of your life and appreciate all the work that you've done for sure so let me know if you're out there and you want a card so I try to catch up here and see what's going on. Thank you guys for joining me again. Hey, Miss Terry, I love it. Miss Terry, I'm in New York. We don't have to say that. <laughs> you don't have to say Miss Terry. I love it. All right, let me know who wants a card. Yeah. All right, Jackie's here. Jackie wants a card. You know what happened? I didn't pick one, two, or three because I'm used to seeing him on the other side. So I, you had them laid out already, though. And you so already I felt like I couldn't choose because I would be, like, picking one based on the picture. All right. And here's another one. Jay and Riso, you're next. Ace of Cups, Jackie. Ace of Cups is a new love. A love beginning. Yay. Excellent. A great card to start I'll off, especially it. that new moon energy. Yes, love yourself. Let it radiate a new love coming in. I love it as well. All right, Jay and Riso, this is for you. You got the daughter cups. All right, this is an innocence of, of heart energy as well. Look at the rainbow. Really, just take that reflection and reflect that energy back for you. Be intuitive, open your heart, and be a little bit innocent. Like, have a little fun, right? Life, we don't have to take ourselves so seriously, all right? Good card, too. All right, let's see who else over here. Okay. Yay, JM, love that. All right, let me know how you like that card. All right, Callie Gia Tapscott. Don't know who you are, but welcome. Thank you. The High Priestess. All right, so the High Priestess is about someone that really can know their energy. They know the mystery schools. They bring it forward. So let me know how that resonates for you. And if you don't so much know about the mystery schools, it's a great time to start learning about the energy of being intuitive, both the, the yen, the moon, and the yang, the, the earth, and the sun. And bringing that forward. So it's one that sits with all of this knowledge and works from that perspective. All right. Really great card. All right. This is for you from Livia. I'm glad that you picked for my mom's card. All right. Yay. Very good. I love that. All right. So let me know how that resonated. Tap Scott. Okay. Vindy Brown Lady. How are you? Card for you. Hi. Oh, Ashley. Yay. Ashley, how's the Reiki going? All right, Ashley, a good card for you. This is not one of the favorites, but it's a great time to drop all this energy, especially using the, the Reiki. So this is the Nine of Wands, uh, Nine of Swords. So look at it. A lot of confusion going on, a lot of drama, chatter of the mind. So Reiki your head for sure. And it's time to like let the stuff go, all right? It's all that churning, and Reiki will help you with that because these are old patterns. So let it go. Nine generally means there's a little bit more to come up, but don't let yourself get caught in it. Let the energy go. Reiki your head so you can move that energy out, all right? And again, it's of the mind. We create it. Most of it is not real. Most of it is false evidence showing up, all right? All right, let me know how that resonates, Ashley. All right, Attitude, how are you? Wasn't it tune fun? All right, this is a great card, Six of Wands. So there is some energy here with sixes. Sixes is like two threes. 
two threes. And so that has a little bit of community work. That's where we like open up more to what we're doing. A butterfly is transformation. So really honoring the work that you're doing and bringing it forward, take a step back and review what you're doing and where can you open up more into that community energy with all that's going on for you, all right? Look at the beautiful butterfly. It's flying above that. It's like moving out. Spread your wings and the passions and desires of your work, all right? A good card for you. All right. All right. Thank you. Perfect. Good. Thank you so much. All right, Millie, how about a card for you and Cindy? You're coming over here to Facebook. All right, Millie, this is a great card for you. You've been doing awesome work with your intuitive work. I love getting that email from you. This is the Eight of Pentacles. So this is about still building your craft working, doing the details, things are going, look how all those pentacles are lining up, and I know you have a lot coming forward, keep your writing going, keep doing what you're doing, keep building it, and this time it can remind us too of like really the details, so the finishing, the starting, all those little details that are really important, okay, also eight is abundance, so this is a lot of that abundant energy as well as you continue building your craft, all right, let me know how that resonates, all right, Cindy, how about for you? Cindy, we have the Six of Swords. All right, so this is also a card, too, where, like, some of this energy is done, all right? You can choose to stay in the chatter of the mind. Again, want, Swords is our mind, or you can rise above. And as you rise above and leave the chatter down here, look at this rainbow up here. So this is, like, be done with it, rise above it, and open up to the higher vibration. Gratitude, 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 all right? That's what that card is about, all right? All right, did I miss anybody? Let me know. And again, be sure to check out the podcast. We have some great things going on with that this week. And then if you want to take the Reiki too, let me know. Don't forget to sign up. It's going to be a good week. It does start out a little bit of that dark energy, but know that you can work through it. Be strong in what you do. Gratitude is one of the highest emotions. It's a great time to offer that. Reach out. Make sure you have my guide. Begin your spiritual practice. It's a great time. Daughter wants a card. So where's that? Well, I'm texting with her. She said, and let Liv, she would like a card. Okay, Liv, this card is for you. She hey, Paul. Mom watch you. And I love that that she's so young and getting into it. All right. So, um, Olivia, we have the Ten of Swords. So, Ten is generally about completion and starting again. All right. And, and the, I'm sorry, it's not Swords, it's the Wands. That is our like passions and desires. So what are you passionate about? And this is a good time for the dark of the moon. So finishing whatever those thoughts are, reviewing a little bit of your year, and maybe even maybe starting a, like a vision board or something, something I like to do with my daughter. We make vision boards together through the internet, right? But she will we'll sit down and we'll do it, and maybe it's a good time to do that. So as this finishes up for you, ones, which is what tens equals, zero and one is one, right? One and zero equals one, you know what I'm saying? And then you can begin again, all right? So bring that to a conclusion and open up space to begin again something new. So dark of the moon into new moon. Perfect alignment. You're really in alignment. That's a great thing. At seven? Yay. Good. So do some vision boarding. Now's a good time to start it. You don't have to finish it. Just start it. All right. Anybody else I miss? I miss anybody else? Hooray. Love you. Okay, good. Yay. All right, y'all. Y'all. <laughs> Got kitted for my southern accent back in New York. It was a great time. And you know what? You can do this too. If you're traveling, if you're going somewhere for the holidays, it gives you the opportunity. Reflect on your life a little bit. Look how far you've come. All right? Sometimes we get so engrossed in like all the things that aren't working, but look how far you have come. I was telling my daughter like, wow, if I think back all the years of living in New York, I have a very colorful life. <laughs> I did a lot of things. Not everything may have worked out exactly as I wanted, but at least I did. At least I got out there and I opened up my horizons, and that's the energy we are all in right now. All right? So take some time this holiday to be grateful. I will have some Black Friday specials. Actually, I'm doing December specials. Just thought about that. Check the website. I'll post next week. All right, everyone. Put your energy together. Jackie, thank you so much for hosting me here. Yeah, I love you guys so much. I'm very grateful for all of you coming forward and showing up, doing the work. Let's do it. All right. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale to your spirit. Happy holiday. Namaste.